Hi all folks, this is Max from RootGalaxyNote.com. Today I'm going to show you how to root your Galaxy Note um, 10.1. This is the 3G version. This is the model number GTN8000. It will work on any GTN8000. Um, basically I repacked a European uh, stock official image with root. Um, but I actually, I think this is a Brazilian version um, and it works just fine. Um, and uh, you can install it on in any N8000 models. Please don't install it on any other models if you if there's any new models by the time this video comes out. Um, so this will give you root and uh, I'll have another simpler method um, but the good thing with this method is it won't erase your binary count but the bad thing is the file download is uh, one gigabyte so you'll have to download this file. Just leave it on um, at night or um, you can download it in you know, maybe an hour should be able to download everything. Um, go ahead and hold down power and the volume down. And oh, let me show you. You know, before I do that, let me show you um, how to check. You can go to settings, go to about device, and this will show you um, XX ALGA. If you have that, that's the European version. This version will work fine. Even if you have some other version, you can install this. Um, you can always reinstall the official ROM file for um, the country you're at and it should work fine and uh, this version let me show you the what languages it has just in case um, you're coming from a language that's not supported or something but but I, I see most of the languages here even Arabic Korean um, everything is there Chinese yes there's a bunch of Chinese there um, so if you have any of these languages you should be all good to go Go ahead and uh, hold down volume down and the power button. Um, the volume down is the one right next to the power button. Well, there you go. Just hold it down until you see that warning sign. And when you see that, hit volume up. And uh, hit uh, also, oops, not this kid. <laughs> Sorry. Um, connect your Samsung USB cable to your computer. And also, I'll actually upload um, different versions. Uh, if you don't have European, I'll, I'll, I'll keep uploading. But for now, since I just did it, I ju I'm just going to upload the European version today because I'm kind of tired. I've been doing this like all day, testing and stuff. Anyway, let me switch to the computer. Let's let me switch the angle of the computer. Sorry, it's been a long day. Next, you'll need a Windows computer for this. I highly recommend using Windows, or you can use VMware um, for Linux or Mac and run Windows inside your Mac or Linux. Um, so go ahead and download these two files, Odin v185 here, um, dot zip, and if you unzip it, you'll get the Odin program. Um, I suggest the 1.85. I like the older versions. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> and also, you'll need to download um, blah 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 dot. Uh, sorry, and a thousand blah 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 root galaxy no dot com dot tar. Um, if you download this and uh, uh, actually it's going to be .tar.zip um, if you download that zip file and unzip it you'll get this file ending in .tar all right? so you have to extract it otherwise you won't see that so you have that and you have the Odin program you're all good to go simply run Odin program and say yes um, if it asks you for admin access whatever and uh, that's the Odin program and uh, you should get a yellow highlight with com sign here uh, random number, the number doesn't matter. A lot of people ask me that. Um, so once you have this, if you don't have this, you need to have Samsung USB drivers installed. It's like 20 megabytes, you run the program and uh, and then unplug your USB cable to your Note 10.1 and plug it back in. You should see the com sign there. Um, if, you, for, if for some reason your Odin program doesn't run or um, you don't see the com sign, uh, make sure you turn off keys, Samsung key software. If you installed it, um, you can kill it in Task Manager. Or if it still doesn't work, um, that happened to one of my computers. Just try another computer. That's the fastest way. I could spend hours trying to figure out what went wrong with your Windows. But thing with Windows, sometimes drivers can get hairy. All right. So everything. Once you have this, you're all ready to go. Simply hit PDA and find that file that ends in .tar which is n8000 blah blah um, dot tar and also by the time you see this video I might have new versions for other uh, continents like this is the European version XXALG5 
Um, I might have another version. So if I have another version and you want to install that, you can install that too. But these are all compatible with any N8000. Um, so you can actually install any of them if you want. Um, so go ahead and open. And uh, the only thing you should really touch is PDA. That's it. All right. Don't touch anything else. Don't mess with any of these other stuff. And hit start. That's it. And this will install the official official ROM, so it won't increase the binary count. But it's got the root injected, um, and uh, basically will give you super SU super user app. Um, the one, the latest one by Chainfire. Um, thanks to him, he's a very good developer. He made the new super SU, uh, which is the same as super U, uh, super user. I mean, it is a super user app. Just Chainfire made a new one, which I like it because you can do. Um, there's a in the settings you can actually unroot your device just one one click and you know unroot it and also this won't install any custom recoveries so you can actually get OTA updates you don't have to unroot or do anything funny um, and I think that's it this should take about 20 minutes and if it fails during system write if you get failed don't worry about it just reset your Galaxy Note 10.1 just by holding the power button and volume down just like we did in the beginning of the video and then put it in the download mode and run it again and make sure you're not using a USB hub uh, when you use a USB hub sometimes it can fail often that happens to me all the time so I've got it connected directly to my computer a USB port and don't use a USB 3.0 port it will not recognize in your computer um, I think I've covered all the bases there and uh, um, I'll have another method that you can use uh, using Clockwork Mod Recovery obviously I'm posting this method because there's no Clockwork Mod Recovery for it and to get clock to compile Clockwork Mod Recovery you do need a rooted Note 10.1 so I just made this so also developers can quickly um, root their Note 10.1 and compile that Clockwork Mod Recovery so we can have uh, another root method um, but I'll post the additional files for different continents different software versions soon and uh, if you need a certain one um, don't you can email me zetomax at gmail dot com and let me see if I can do that first um, anyway I'll be back when this is done it should take another five minutes hi folks so it should say pass and your tab 10.1 should reboot Sometimes it might go into stock recovery. I'm um, just hit the power button and select reboot uh, system. Anyway, let me switch the camera angle now. Oh, right, folks, so I've got it, it rebooted within like 20 seconds. Um, you'll still have your apps. This does not erase your apps. It's just root injected. It. It's an official ROM with root injection. Go ahead and run Super SU, and you can update it. Uh, you don't have to, but you can. Go ahead, and uh, you should get installation success. For some reason, if you don't get it, try updating the Super SU app on Play Store. You can actually do that. And uh, you can go ahead and run, like, download and then run Titanium Backup app. Make sure you hit Grant. You should get Super User Request. And uh, you can back up your apps using Titanium Backup. Anyway, uh, um, again, you can use this for all the European versions. You can also use it for any other, and uh, as long as you have a GTN 8000 model, you can use this to get root. Um, and I'll post the other ones also, uh, all the, the Asian ones and stuff eventually on my site at rootgalaxynote.com. And uh, if you have a Galaxy Note, if you have one of these smaller ones, the GTN 8, uh, N7000 or the i717 I'm holding here, or the 10.1, don't forget to sign up for my email list um, at rootgalaxynote.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week, tips, hacks, and more, and also it's a great way for you to get in contact with me via email if you have trouble with your uh, Galaxy Note, and uh, please share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+, and don't forget to hit that thumbs up um, on Facebook, or plus one on Google+, and um, thanks you guys, and stay high on Android, yeah, the world's first rooted Galaxy Note 10.1, alright, see y'all later. And uh, support vitamin cancer research, because my mom has cancer.